All right, guys. Well, I bought a Norton P11. Well, a lot of pieces of a Norton P11, that is. Um, so I've got, obviously, the frame, which is one of the most important parts. I've got a large tank, which is nice. A rear fender has kind of been seen better days. Tail light. Here's another tail light. I've actually got the triples for it as well. I've got them kind of set up here. Um, I've got a lot of the hard to find important things. I've got the gearbox right here. Um, I do have the swing arm. It's kind of at the bottom of the table. I've also got the front and rear wheels, the right wheels actually. I actually have a P11 bottom end. There's obviously clearly nothing in here. Um, got just cylinder barrels. A Norton Commando P11 cylinder barrels are exactly the same. And this is actually a P11 hit. So this P11 actually has the oil tank as well. So that's also another important hard to find part. So this is kind of what I have right now for my P11 project. So this one actually is a bit of a mystery to me. So if I remove this, so normally a high pipe P11 would have a bar right here. This does not I actually have a brand new high pipe exhaust for this as well. It came with the with the project. So one less thing for me to one less thing for me to have to purchase. So that's really cool. So this one is a bit of a mystery still to me. Um, the frame, the number for the P11 is stamped right here. And so the number does not match into the range of P11s as, at all. They kind of start with a 121, mine does not. So I reached out to the Norton Owners Club. They don't know anything about it. They said the font's wrong. It looks like it's probably been re-stamped sometime a long time ago. So I'll probably never know what this originally left the factory as or when it left the factory, but it's definitely a Norton P11 frame. So that's the good news. Bad news is I need a lot of parts. So this project's gonna be kinda on the back burner until I do finish the Commando restoration. I don't wanna have a whole bunch of different bits sitting around here and there and everywhere. So I'm just kinda keeping these all in one area while I work on my Commando and try to get that done and accomplished and on the road again before we tackle this. But I had to do this video as I've been kinda called out in the comments. Thank you, Jerry. <laughs> um, so yes, I do have a P11. It is a nice project. It's going to be a heck of a project. I have a lot of work to do on that. But I do have a lot of parts to get. But I do have a lot of the important and hard to find parts. I actually have the steering damp damper ordered and on the way as well. Something difficult that's going to be hard to find is the telehydraulic forks. If anybody has any leads, hit me up. But unfortunately, I'm not kind of made of money. So I'm having to finish one project first before I get to this project and get to another. So. If you're interested in this, please definitely subscribe. It seems like a lot of you guys really did like my video with the other two P11s. I'll try to do another one with them, writing them maybe a bit more soon. We do kind of have a hurricane coming through the area right now, or maybe a little bit of a tropical storm. So I'll try to do a video with the P11s soon, do some writing footage. I got a new camera, so that's co cool. So yeah, as y'all can see, I've got this. I have the chain case, most of the engine plates, I'm missing one engine plate, but also the gearbox. The gearbox is different to a P11 as to a Commando there. They do mount up a little bit differently. So this is actually a P11 gearbox as well, so that's neat. And yeah, so I've got all the important things. Being that this will never be a numbers matching or the correct numbers on the frame, I'm just going to build this the way I want to build it. So I'm just going to do it as a high pipe as I like the, the way the high pipe commandos look even though the frame isn't correct for the high pipe. But honestly at the end of the day it's my bike. I'm not here to try to win any concourse shows or anything like that. It's just bikes are made to have fun with right? I'm not going to sit here and stick it in a museum and just look at it or just have it in the garage just looking at it. I want to ride it. I want to enjoy it. I want to do what I want to do with it and just be the P11 that I want it to be. So. I do have a lot of work ahead of me on this, so make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. The more people that subscribe, it does help me out and kind of finish these projects a little sooner. 
So make sure you subscribe, thumbs up, all that stuff. Um, we will have some more videos coming up. Hopefully one coming up on the commando soon. I'll keep you guys updated. So thank you guys and you have a great day.